Thomas with Tormach. Now we're going to talk about some collet adapters for the fourth axis. We have an ER40 and an ER32. And the ER40 or ER32, that's going to tell you what size um, collet you can use. Here's the collet kits. And these collets just snap right in. Just like that. Now these mount to the face plate. Tina to slide in here, and then a socket head cap screw. Okay. And then there's one every 90 degrees. Now, if your faceplate does not have T slots that are 90 degrees, just take and drill and counterbore the ER um, faceplate for whatever angle you need off from the other two. Then you can bolt it up to whatever faceplate you got. Then once you have it bolted onto your your indexer to uh, true it up, just you can either check on your workpiece if you want to dial your workpiece in, or a gauge pin, uh, end mill. Just check on. Okay. And then index your axes with an indicator writing on here, and then just bump it around until you get it true. Tighten up your bolts. Okay. And then once you have it true, it's just a matter of uh, changing your workpiece. Everything's going to run good. These are these are going to run real true. Um, and the the advantage of collets over like a three jaw chuck or something like that, you don't have the marring. Uh, on your workpiece, like you do from a uh, hardened um, chuck jaw. These uh, collets hold on to nice finished round parts and they won't mark it up. That's it. You got the chuck adapters. Got a different series of collets. Uh, collet nut. Different, different size collets, kits, and the spanner edge. That's all you need.